What's going on everybody? I hope you guys are doing wonderful today. I hope you guys are having just a, a great day. I hope your families are well. I hope everybody is safe and happy and healthy, uh, number one. And I say these things in, in every video because I really mean these things. And I, I just want to say something real quick before we get started. I want to say a few things real quick. Hopefully it'll be real quick. I, I, don't, know, I don't know exactly what changed me into the person that I am. So I credit everything to painting because when I started painting pictures and doing art, it changed everything about me. I did nothing else. This was the only thing that I did during my transitional period of life. It has helped me so much deal with depression and anxiety and everything, including death, which I just went through, which was absolutely horrible. Just a few days ago, I buried my father-in-law and it's very, very tough and I can promise you that when I say the things that I do, I really mean them. I mean them because uh, I have no other reason to, to try to motivate you to do something. I'm doing it out of the kindness of my heart because I, wanna, I really wanna help you and I hope you, take my, I hope you take my advice because this is a very powerful, very powerful thing right here. And, and I just wish, uh, I wish I had better words to explain the things that I have felt and went through. Only thing I can say is, if you're here watching me and you've seen my ups and my downs, you should be able to tell what is what and what is happening here. So I'm really trying to push this onto you because I want you to have a better life and it's never too late to change. And at the same time, it's okay to not be okay. So don't forget that, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get started on this particular painting here. I wanna let you know that we are not gonna have this angle here for, you know, with me mixing and stuff. And I know a lot of people like that, but I'm gonna be uh, uploading those videos on the channel member page. So there's gonna be a link in the top row right here. Click it, go become a channel member. It'll do a number of things. It's gonna help you be able to see the things that I'm doing when it's mixing and all that stuff. It'll be very informational. You'll actually get something from it. So head over there if you'd like to. Um, if not, I get it. And that's about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started because I'm very anxious to do this. I've had a very, very hard, very, very hard two months and I'm just, I'm just happy to, I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be here. Appreciate life. Don't take nothing for granted. And, and, and one last thing before we get started, I, I wanna tell you this. Whether it's your mother, your father, your husband, or your wife, you need to look over and tell them how much you love them and make sure that they know how you feel about them. Because they may not be here tomorrow, or you may not be here tomorrow, or I may not be here tomorrow. So. Do those things because they really count. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so what I did here was nothing, uh, nothing real fancy. I never do anything real fancy. 
I put, I have this liquid black and this liquid white just laying around. I've been trying to use it up. So I started off by, I put some liquid white here in the center and then I kind of did like a little rainbow of liquid black around the outer edge. And then I just went ahead and blended it together. Just like that. Make it nice and like a soft transition. All right, I'm gonna take this two inch brush I get a lot of questions about these brushes, so I want to say something real quick. I just want to hold my palette up real quick. Here's the colors that I'm using. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. Something like that, maybe. Yeah. Turn the light up a little bit. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Yeah, so these are the basic colors. I'll have uh, them listed in the description. Um, but for the upcoming videos, well, you're not going to see them on here, but when I do the videos with the color mixing, they're going channel memberships, and I'm starting that. It is the 11th today. I will have videos uh, rolling out before the end of the month on the channel member page. So if you'd like to support me to keep me here, head over there. Head over there and keep me here. All right, we're going to do something real basic here today. We're going to start off with, I'm going to take a little bit of Prussian blue right about here. Something like that, hang on a minute, I got some oil or something here all over my palette. Just gonna wipe it off real quick. Okay. All right, so actually I'm gonna set the palette down. I'm gonna take some Prussian blue. I'm gonna wipe it off a little bit on the brush and I'm gonna start off by doing some right around here. Just a little bit like that. Now, I don't know if you can see that. It looks kind of scratchy. Don't worry about that. It's not a big deal. I'm wiping the, uh, wiping the brush off, and I'm gonna come back in here, and I'm just gonna kind of work it around into that dark color. Just like this. Circles are good. Circles are a good thing. See, I'm just kind of working it around the area where I put the liquid black. Something just about like that right there. Now, I'm just going to wipe the brush off again. Just kind of, I always do this, kind of wipe it off gets that extra paint off of there. And then let me come back up here and start blending some of this here. As a matter of fact, let me do this. I'm going to set that two inch brush down real quick and I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab another brush here, another two inch, and I am going to blend away. Now the reason I just did that is because if I would have continued to use that brush, see, I want it to be dark and then light down at the bottom, all right? So we want to have control of that. You want to have control. You never want to lose control. If you lose control with your sky and your painting, you're going to lose control with anything and everything. Well, at least that's me. So I try to gain control <laughs> if I can help it. All right, so by keeping it nice and light down here at the bottom, it just looks like depth. We'll have depth to the picture, hopefully. <laughs> I say that with confidence, or at least I try. At least I try, here we go. So now, see, I'm just working this all together, just you know, kind of softening some edges and stuff like that. All right. And you can see down here, there's not a whole lot of color. I can steal some from here and bring it here. All right, but there is some form of a transition here. All right, now, now I step back always, and I want to just transition this here a little bit, blend this out just a little bit more, because I saw a little bit of a line right there. And to fix that, you just come up and you do circles, dark into the lighter area and back and forth, up and down. All right, super easy. OK, 
Okay. I'm going to grab this two inch brush that we have color on right here and I'm going to take some of that blue and I am going to just pop some of it down into here. All right, just because there was some, I think there was some water in here, maybe. So I'm just going to throw a bunch of color down here like this, whatever. Put some over here as well. Something like that, right about there. And if you want, when you do this here, you can actually, I'll show you. I'm going to take that other two inch brush that I have, it's the cleaner one, and I'm going to do these little circles on top of the uh, water here. It'll just soften it and it'll kind of put it back into the distance, you know, into the distance. All right. Okay. Let's see, I'm going to grab, I have this one inch brush here that I had a little bit of the uh, the, the liquid black stuff on it, and I'm going to pop some of that. Let me reach over here and grab a little bit. I'm going to pop some of that in this water here, just because it's up there. All right, doesn't have to be perfect though. Just put some of it in the water. Okay. Can if you want to, you could add a little bit more of the blue, deep like a deeper blue towards the front. All right, anytime you make something, a picture, when you get closer to the front, you want it to have more of the true color. And the more you go towards far away, that didn't sound right, the more you go towards far away. The, the further you go away, the lighter you want it to be. Okay. I think a little bit, tiny bit more of that liquid black would probably look good in here, maybe. Yeah. I got an idea. I'm going to do this. I'm just going to drag some of it down. See that? Something like that. And I'll take this two inch brush, the clean one, and I'm just going to swat it back and forth. And we'll see what that does for us. And we can always change it, you know. It's not a big deal, not a big deal. Not a big deal. All right, so we got some basicness happening here. I'm gonna go ahead now and set these paper towels down and I'm gonna, 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 what am I gonna do? All right, put a cloud in here, right? Might as well. Clouds are very, very interesting, by the way. Very interesting. So I'm gonna grab me a, where you at? It's been a while. Where's my number threes at? My number three fan brushes. Where you at, guys? Don't let me down. I need you. There we go. Found one. Clouds are important. If you didn't see my recent video about clouds, about what I saw in the clouds, head over and watch it after this video. All right, here we go. I'm going to take just some titanium white. We're going to put an easy cloud, you know, something that's easy. It's effective as well. All right, so I got some paint on the number three here. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off. I like this dark that I have going on around here. So I think what I'm gonna to try to do is put a cloud, you know, coming up this way like this, and then maybe it just kind of hops down this way into the distance, sort of. All right, getting some more of that white on there. So I could just make the basic shapes. All right, and just like this. See, I'm just, I'm just using the corner. The corner is your best bet when you're making these clouds. Honestly, it's your best, best bet. Putting some right there like that. Now, once you go up in the sky, you might want to wipe, you know, wipe off your fan brush real quick because you're going to pick up some color and it doesn't really hurt to get some of it back into the sky. You just got to know how to control it. And I'm going to pop a cloud right in here somewhere, you know, like this. Now, I'll give you a little tip when you're making clouds, you know, when you're doing these paintings, you need to, when you're done making your clouds, you need to stand back and look at them, okay? Because some, <clears throat> some interesting things happen, you know, when clouds are being made. You make things sometimes and, and you don't realize it, all right? 
you know, so have a look here and there when, you, when, you, when you're making clouds. Very important. And that's my opinion, of course. Just going to put a little silent ones off to here like this. A little bit of dark color. Drag the dark color in, see? Down like this. And we can blend some of this out. It's not a big deal. Okay. All right, let's set that fan brush down. And then I'm going to go over to... I'm going to take the two-inch brush that we have. It's a little bit cleaner. And I'm just going to swat these a little bit. Just give them a little twirl. All right. You could try to use the corner if you want. Sometimes I just hold the brush flat like this and just swirl it. Just don't hit the uh, top of the clouds and it'll look, uh, it'll look pretty good. See, I'm just twirling it. All right. Nothing hard here. Just staying away from the top. So I'm using all the bristles in that case. Using them all. Go up here. Now in this case, I'm not going to hit the bottom of the clouds because I think it'll look better to show just like that. All right. Just softening some of this stuff up here. Okay. And then look, if you want, you can come back and you can add a little bit more of like of a body to the clouds. You can take some more white if you want and just kind of, for example, right here, you know, maybe we want some more showing, you know what I mean? So it looks like a, a better cloud. He's a little bit more full, you know, something like that. So just really just all you're doing, there's no real technique here, right? You're just dragging some white paint down and around. All right, I'll do one here too. Look, we're just dragging some white paint. That's it. Drag it around. Just like that. And then maybe, uh, since we did that one there, maybe this cloud's in front. So look, we're going to put some right there as well. All right, we're going to go back to the two inch brush here real quick and do the same thing. Nice soft little softening right here. All right. And then up here where we just put this white paint. Now don't blend it too much because you know, you'll set it all right back into the sky and it'll just be kind of pointless what you just did. So just give it a, a little bit of a softening. All right. You know, or if you're not happy with it, you could just keep on twirling it like this and it will sort of go away. All right, I'm going to give it a wipe here and I'm going to go like this, lift it, lift it up. Now, when I see any straight lines in my clouds, I get rid of them. I blend them out real quick. All right. Like that right there. There we go. All right, lift that. We're going to lift this guy here. I lift it like an upward C shape or something like that. I think that's the right way to describe it. It's like a circle, half moon. All right. And then I'm going to... Carefully, I'm just going to go like this, and this just kind of gets all the clouds in uniform. All right, and gets everything together, takes the brush strokes out. You know the deal. I'm not telling you anything that you don't know here, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure of that. The one thing I am telling you is this stuff here, it's life saving. So please do it. Please try it. Give it a try. Because I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now, anybody can do this. If you make yourself believe that you can do this, you can really do this. There's no doubt in my mind. I'd bet my life on it that you can do it. 100%. All right, here we go. I'm going to grab I'm going to grab the knife. I'm just going to use today probably I'm going to use some just some Prussian blue and I'm going to use some black, okay? And actually brown. Blue, black, and some brown. And just a tiny bit of red. All right, something like that right there. And then I'm going to grab a little bit of white to lighten it. A little bit of white. And I will make a mountain here. So start to make a mountain. So I'm going to take the knife and, and just I'm going to make a basic old mountain. And I'm trying to figure out the placement here. I actually want this mountain to go like this. I want him to come up here a little bit and drop down just like 
this here. Like this. He comes right down this way. Like this. Okay. And then I want to a little something right here too. Just yeah. All right. Something like that, right about there. And then you know what? Let me set the. I'm gonna set the knife down real quick. I'm gonna grab. Let's see. I'm gonna grab this one-inch brush here, and I'm gonna pull. You could do two things. You could just pull it out like that, or let me let me do the other way here. You could take the knife, and you can scrape some of this off. All right. And you know what? If you're if you're new, it might be better if you scrape some off. Okay because it may, it may just help your whole process. See, scrape it off, all right? And it doesn't have to be, doesn't matter which direction you do it in, just get it, you know, get it off of there, all right? It's just something like that. And there's quite a bit of paint that comes off of there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, back to the one inch brush. I'm gonna start here and I'm just gonna go like this. I'm gonna drag this guy down like this. Same thing here. Okay, you don't have to spend a lot of time here. Just drag it down and be careful because you can drag this down very far, you know, and make your mountain bigger than what you had expected. So, you, you know, you may not want to do that. So take your time and kind of like think about it before you go doing that. Okay. Let's see here. Keep pulling this out like this. All right, now I wanted to make a basic mountain here for you guys to see, because I don't want to do anything hard, but I do want to put, I want this to come down like this, and there's one there, and then I'm thinking about maybe, you know, just something that we don't normally do. I want to have a little, shoom, a little something right here too. Just another little peak or something, I don't know. Mix them right together. That. Okay, back to this brush here. Choom, like this, drag these guys out. He goes right across the canvas, see that? Just kind of doing whatever here. Okay. I don't know if that's gonna be in the back or what, but I just figured we'd put a couple things up here, you know? Now I'm gonna grab, let's grab the two inch brush, the one that was a little bit more clean. And I wanna do this, I'm gonna just give it a quick wipe like this. And I am gonna just kinda of swat over, you know, what we just did like this, just drag a little bit of it down. Even though we already drug it down, I'm just kinda of softening it at this point. And I'm gonna go like this. See that? Making a layer of, I don't know what this is, mist or something. I don't know, it just softens it and it makes it look a little bit, a little bit better, maybe. Maybe it doesn't. I think it does. I think it looks softer, which is a great thing, all right? Okay, let's set that down there. Let's go back to the knife, make a little, make a little room here. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take some white paint here, and I'm gonna take some white paint, right? And I'm gonna take a tiny bit of that mountain base color and put it in there. So it's kind of like a little, it's a little bit grayed, grayed, just a tiny bit. All right, it's not like a perfect bright white, just a little bit grayed. Okay. Now, easy mountain, right? We said easy. So let's go up here and I'm just gonna put a few little you know, little things here, same little chum. It's so easy to do this stuff. Don't let this get to you because this is easy. You just touch the knife on and you just, you just touch it and drag it if you want, or you could just keep touching it in places and pull a little bit. Super easy to do this stuff right here. See, just putting randomness, randomness everywhere. And it's not like a super bright white. 
not yet. And we can add some highlights on here, some nice little white highlights when we're done if we want to. Okay. Just putting a little, couple little designs here and there. Something there. See, like this. All right, and I said I want to make this mountain, let's put some here too, whatever, everywhere. I want to put some over here as well. Right there, coming down, just like this. See that? All right, I'm not putting much effort into this. I'm just trying to get you get you going here on a basic on a basic mountain of some sort, okay? Is what I'm trying to do. Okay, now <clears throat> get some just figuring out my placement here. So I know I want something to come down like this. And I want it need some more, a little bit more white in here. So I'm gonna go like, well, that's not much more white, but I want to drag this down to there. Like that. And I'm going back to the white pile here, and I am going to take this here, and I'm going to come down a little bit more there, too, as well. Something like this here. All right. This is going to be a, you know, it's kind of a distant background type of mountain type thing. All right, we're going to stick with the knife here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm going to take a tiny bit of the Prussian blue, mix it in with our color we've been using here, which is the base color of the mountain, a little bit of white. And this is going to be like a very grayed type of a blue. Should be good for shadow. But I want it to be subtle, subtle, <laughs> subtle. I want it to be subtle. So I'm just going to touch in a few spots here like this. And just drag it around, see? Put some there, like this. And I actually want this to go like this. See? It's not a super, it's not a super bright blue or whatever, but it's, it's you know, it's there. All right, put some up here. Put some right here, Ooh, see that? right down the side. And it'll give you some nice little shadows. Okay, and now we gotta get some shadows over here as well. Now I want to have something that comes this way. Just mixing up a little more color real quick of the shadow color. Now what I want to do here is, yeah, I want to have, because I'm going to add a few more highlights here. And this is how you kind of shape your mountains and stuff. You just kind of put stuff wherever and you, you step back and you look at it. You know what I mean? You step back and have a look and see what looks right. Okay. So actually that don't look too bad. All right. I'm going to clear me a spot real quick. And then I'm going to check the time here. Okay. Now I'm going to take more of a pure white color, okay? It's more of a straight white. Might be a little mud in there, a little dirt, a little blue or whatever. And I'm going to drag just a few little highlights here. Now I got a lot of paint on here right now, so I got to be careful. And I don't want to ruin it with too many highlights, but I want to add, you know, a few in here. Okay, just to give it some shape, give it some life. See that right there? Just boom. You know, something like this here, just kind of whatever. Mix up your edges. Step back, most importantly. <coughs> Excuse me. A little bit here. Littlest touches of these highlights here and there, you know? And then we'll get a little bit more white, and we're going to have this guy go like this. He's going to drop down here. 
all right, something like that. And then we can go back to, you know, that little bit of a shadow color if you want. And then we could just kind of, you know, put some here just so it looks a little bit more, you know, believable for depth. You want it to be a little darker as you get up towards the front so we can go like this. See, add a little bit of something right here. All right. I don't know what that is, but it, it could be something. All right. I'm just rubbing it in with the knife. See that? Just like that. And then we can take some white if we want to. And then you can add a nice little, ugh, little highlight there. Drop some of that over. And then go back to that nice little blue color. A little bit more blue. And have a nice little shadow in here. See? Kind of makes things come together a little bit. All right? You know, something like that. That's, I mean, it's nothing perfect, you know, but it's, it's something. I do see something I need right there. Like this, just to kind of break it up. Make sure that the peaks of your mountain, you know, try to make them not look similar or the same or whatever. All right, I've been guilty of that several times. Okay, I'm gonna set this knife down here real quick and I'm gonna go over here to the two inch brush. I'm going to go to the two inch brush and I'm going to do this real quickly. I want to soften this a little bit. So see this little tapping right here. I'm telling you when, when Bob showed this here, I mean, this is the real, this is the real deal here. Tapping. I don't know what it does, but it really diffuses things. It softens things up and it does help a lot, but just be soft about it and soft about it. Be careful with it. You know, when you're tapping, cause you can destroy everything. All right, I'm going to do the same thing here too. I'm going to tap the edges a little bit just to kind of distort what's going on here a little bit. See, all right, something like this here, something like that. All right, and then we can actually just kind of carefully pull on it. See, like this, pull the paint this way. All right where you could twirl it a little bit. And don't worry, you see that blue that's in there? I know it may look too vibrant right now, but don't worry about it. You could give it, soften it just a little bit, see? But be careful because if you, if you mess around with it too much, you're gonna mess it up, you know? So look, I'm gonna take a little bit of white and just go like this, just to give a little texture over on this side as well. All right, maybe I'll grab a little bit of the dark too again. Sprinkle some of that back in here, see, like this. All right, and then even have a little bit of dark there, what the heck. All right, I'll set the knife back down and then let's do what we just did. Pull this here. Or you can just soften it with little circles. All right, something like that. I'm gonna twirl it up here, and we'll have something here in the front of that, so I'm not too concerned about that. But there you have like a little, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, some form of a mountain right there, all right? And if you wanted to add like little details, you could take the fan brush, right, with a little bit of white on it, and if you wanted to, the thinner the white, the better. So if you have a little liquid white, maybe use that in there to thin the paint down a little bit. But if you wanted to, you could, you know, come in here and just add a little bit of, you could even just press it in. Look at this. See that right there? A little bit of, I don't know what that could be, a cloud or something maybe, see? Back there, who knows? Just, you know, subtle little things, all right? Something like that. I'll go back. I've been using this two inch brush. I just wiping it off. That's it. And go in here and just twirl this a little bit, soften it, this little cloud, or I don't know what exactly this is, but it's something. See, twirl it. All right. And then just kind of lift it, I guess, a little bit and carefully soften it. See, so it'll kind of look like it's rolling in front of that mountain, possibly something like that. All right. Now I'm going to take this one inch brush here 
and I got to try to map something out here real quick. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to take the one inch, you know what? I think I'm going to take the fan brush first before the one inch. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Fan brush. And I'm going to take, we're going to start laying out some of our ground in here. So I'm going to take the fan brush and I'm going to need some background color. Let's see here. So normally when you go far in the background, you're looking for like a nice, you know, like a lightish color, like whether it's green, you want a green background, blue, whatever. You want it to be nice and light is the main thing. So let's do this. Let's take some color here. I'm going to take some blue, some black, and I'm going to take some brown, and I'm going to take some green. Blue, black, and brown, and green is what I'm having here. What I'm happening here. <laughs> That's what I'm having here. Okay, blue, black, brown, and some green. I'm gonna wipe this off real quick, paper towel. And then, let's see here, I'm gonna come right about, I'm gonna start over here, I think. Yeah, because I want there to be some high hills back here. So I don't wanna destroy these clouds, but I wanna come start right about here, and I want them to go, see, something like this. Something like that right there. All right, there's one, and then maybe, you know, Maybe another one here. Leave some of that light in there. You want that light to be left in there. All right, so there's one. Got the other one on the other side right here. Whatever, something like that there. Just a basic layout. And then that's when I want to come down here and figure out, you know, I, want to ha I do want to have another one that comes around this area here maybe. Comes out like that. And then maybe like this, see? comes like that right there wraps around the corner all those good things this guy comes out like this right there and then we're gonna go like this now I know I don't know how often I've done done it like this but I'm just kind of mapping in little things <clears throat> and think <clears throat> excuse me I'm mapping in little things you know something like this and then we're on big hill here so it's gonna water's gonna come around this way whatever all right dark it's gonna be darker there so now I'm like mapped in sort of here okay I'm sort of mapped in how many times will I say that <laughs> all right I am gonna do something here I want to have that wrap around the corner and I want this to be a little bit dark right here all right something for now like this all right we'll we'll figure that out in a minute Okay, now I'm going to take the one inch brush, it's, it's all wiped off, there's no paint on it, and I just want to check and see what happens here. I want to swirl this and see what I get. See I'm doing little baby swirls, all right, little baby swirls. like that and we'll go over here and the reason I'm doing this is because I'm trying to gauge what where I'm at color wise I can come back and darken it if I have to or or do whatever all right okay yeah so I definitely need some work that's for sure all right so I'm going to continue with the uh, one inch brush here I'm going to add a little bit more green and a little bit more blue okay and a little bit more white well I didn't have any white so just some white in general. And then I'm going to take some yellow. Get some yellow in there. Now, as far as the channel member thing goes, guys, you know, I'm telling you, if you want to go over there, I'm starting before the end of this month. I'm going to be uploading videos there. It's going to be helpful. It's just so much work to have the multiple, you know, camera angles in. I have to, it's like I need, I have to focus. I have to spend a lot more time, you know, so I think it'll be something that's appreciated to you guys. So definitely head over there and I can guarantee it, it'll help keep me around. And I normally don't, you know, talk about stuff like that, but it's a time where, you know, I need to at this point. So, all right, I'm only telling you because I need to make some of these things happen in order to protect my presence here on the internet. So I just took, you see, some green and I decided that I wanted to try to start tapping some stuff in to see how that looked. All right. So now I'm using a little bit more of the yellow, coming right down the, the hill like this. 
just like this into the depths of whatever this is down here. I don't quite know. And it's nice and light though, see? And I'm just kind of tapping, just like this. And you can add a little bit more, you know, dark color in if you want to go back with the green or whatever. See, add a little bit of, you know, shadow, but not too much because this is far away. All right. It's very far away, so you don't want to add too, too much. Okay, let me go over here now. A little bit more blue into that color and black. All right, let's go here. See this? Just tapping some in. And I want to leave in, I want to leave those misty areas because I think it looks better. All right. So right now I'm just putting yeah, some dark, a little bit of dark in. You can go a little bit darker, I think, a little bit more blue, black, because this one is a little bit closer. All right. Something like there, maybe there. Yeah, something like this. Bring that right down. Okay. Not too bad, not too bad. Now I want to see something. I want to take this two inch brush and I want to see what happens if I just kind of try to soften this real quick. I'll check it out and see what I think. Let me try to circle this here because this is far away. So when you blend something, I'm not worried if I mess this up right now. If you blend out something like this, sometimes it helps sell the effect, all right, that it's far very far away. All right, yeah, so that might help. So to enhance that effect real quick, let's do this. To enhance that effect, let's go ahead and grab, I'm gonna see, just grab some white, just on the knife even, watch this. All right, a little trick for you. Get some white in there. Doesn't matter how you apply it. It could be on the knife or with your finger. Wear a glove if you're using your finger. All right, a little bit of white, see that? Now, you might want to use a smaller brush to have more control, but I just wanted to add a little bit of that misty look. See that right there? I gotta watch out for that dark pile right below. But you see that? It gave it that look of uh, mist or whatever. At least that's what I'm seeing here. Or use like a filbert brush, okay? There you go, I should have grabbed the filbert. See, you could use a filbert and just kind of, you know, get it in there like this, see? It doesn't, I'm trying to show you, it doesn't matter how you put the paint in here, on here. Just get it on there, see? And I'm trying to show you this because I want you to have a fun time. I really want you to enjoy doing this. And there's one thing, I'm not like a, I don't consider myself like an art teacher or a good teacher. Um, but what I do know is I've seen things in person with people and I see how they get frustrated with stuff and it, and it just upsets me because I want you to just, I want you to, you know, just do good at this and it's possible to do good. Very, very possible. Now I just saw something on this little mountain in the background here, this little here, little thing right there. Watch, let's do, let's do this. Let's take some yellow. There's a little bit of green in there. I don't know, a little white something, maybe a little yellow ochre, I don't know. Just a light, light color. I want to try to tap a little bit. I'm actually going to wipe this off a little bit. And I want to see what it would look like. That's too dark. Tap a little bit of like, I don't know, grass or something back here. Look, just a little bit, see? Not too much. Maybe it's coming down the, it's coming down the mountain right here, see? But if you put too much here, it's gonna, it's gonna look weird, I think. I just wanted to show that maybe there's, maybe this is grass, I don't know. Coming down. Yeah, there's a little bit of grass there. Or, or maybe we can take some yellow. Just some bright yellow, right, and do this. Well, it's not real bright because I got dirt in it. Maybe I could do this, a little highlight here and there, see? <laughs> 
Yeah. Well, hello. Okay, all right, I'm digging it. Not too, too bad. Not too bad. All right, so I have the fan brush here. And another thing I want to talk to you guys about real quick while I'm doing this. We all love Bob. And Bob sold us the big old, you know, bucket with the paint thinner in, with the screen at the bottom. Well, I've since uh, found a jar, little screen with a screen in it, okay? I got this at Michael's somewhere, and I got to tell you, you ought to get yourself one of these jars. They're, they're about eight bucks or something like that. They're very, very inexpensive, and you put a tiny about a tiny, blah, 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 tiny amount of paint thinner in, and you are good to go. Tiny amount. Got your screen in there. It's easier to clean, easier to manage, because I don't know about you guys, but when my big bucket gets full of paint thinner and there's all this crud, and I've even tried putting the plastic bag in there, it's horrible. This is a much better way to do it. It's made by Artist Loft. They're not sponsoring me or asking me to say anything. I just found it, and I like it. Okay. All right, I'm going to start off. I'm going to take a little bit of blue here. I'm going to take some blue and some white. It's a lot. I'm going to wipe it off on the fan brush. Just a little bit of blue and white because that water, I wanted it to kind of trickle around here a little bit somehow. It's going to come around like this to right here maybe, something like that. Just getting my layout in. Now I'm going to change this. So I want it to come around, it's going to go this way, this way, and then of course it's going to, it's going to take off that way. So that wraps around like that. I'm going to go, well what the hell, I'll just use the fan brush, get some, we got those greens and yellows and all that, and I just want to fix my back area here like this, see, just kind of drag, whatever, shape it shape the water room see little hills everywhere leave the white areas in there because they just they really look uh i don't know they sell the effect maybe maybe they do maybe they don't i'm gonna put a nice dark color right here see that and i'm just trying to show you like some easy fun way to do this i don't know there's not like a lot of elements here Nothing like that, okay? Dark color here. So look, I'm actually going to do this. Green, black, blue. We get to these areas, let's just start filling in some color. Just fill it in, whatever. See that? Fill the dark in. Blue and black and green, primarily. And see that? How many times am I going to say you see that? Do you see it? Do you see it? Of course you see it. If you're here watching the video, you probably see it. See, right there, nice dark color for contrast purposes, like this. Okay, so I'm just filling this in. This is like the no brain part right here at the moment, what I'm doing. None of this takes brains, trust me. Believe me, and if it did, I'm telling you right now, I'd be shit out of luck if this took brains. Because <laughs> uh, I, got to be honest, I left my brains in my other pants. So... I forgot to uh, wear them today and bring them with me. No, I'm just joking. I have some brains, maybe. <laughs> some brains. <laughs> Bunch of freaking acorns flying around up in my head. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, I'm not sorry. I got to say something, though, on a serious note. Um, Beans that the last couple, you know, months have been really hard for me, and I buried my father-in-law, who was somebody who was damn near a father to me, might as well say, you know, to be able to kind of like chuckle a little bit right here and laugh and enjoy myself a little bit is, uh, is priceless, and it shows me why I'm doing this, you know, it's why I'm doing this, because I pray to God that you can have these experiences, okay? Black and blue 
here, a little bit of darks here. I really do hope that you can have some of these experiences like I am. You know, in case somebody out there is thinking, oh, well, he's just buried his father-in-law. He must be cold if he can laugh. That's not the case. I'm just, just trying to cope. And painting is a, is a bonus, and it helps me, helps me be able to do that. I'm going to take the one-inch brush right here, and I am going to put some little highlights on these guys right here. So, all right, so I'm just going to take some yellow on the one-inch brush, and I'm just tapping it in. And these are the things I'm going to show uh, when I upload later this month on the channel members. I'll show, you know, I'm tapping it in. I'm just not holding the palette right now because I'm trying to just get through this. But I will show all of those little details. So look, I'm going to go like this, get some more yellow. I'm going to be highlighting this area right here. So I'm putting little, little grasses and things. And it's more texture because the closer it is to me, you know, the more texture I want to have on it, okay? And make these little, little hills and things make it look like little textured hills, all right? Something like that. Bring this right up, right there. I'm gonna do the same thing right about there. Something like that. Step back and look always. Need some yellow ochre in there. Yellow ochre is a good color to kind of mix in to the mix, you know, when you're mixing. To mix into the mix when you're mixing. Hit some on the other side as well. Some right there, maybe. See, I'm just whatever. Just tapping some stuff in here. So those are some nice looking little hills back there. No problemo. Now this is a basic beginner type painting. Don't forget that I keep saying that. Basic, basic, basic. All right, there's nothing to this. All right, let's add a few other elements real quick. I'm going to take the fan brush the number three blue and some black and some green. All right, blue, black, and some green. I wanna put a few little things in here. So I want to, let's go right about, I wanna add like a little clump of something right into this area right here. I'm gonna put these little trees. I love these trees. They're fun to make. You push up on them, you know, and it only literally takes a few seconds of your life to make these guys. All right, you make your little starter line right here. See, little starter line, you just take the corner and you just push up. All right, it's super fun, you know, super easy to do and it's just no problem. You know, we'll put one up here as well, right there. You know, we'll put this guy right there. See, skipping spots, flip the brush over if you want to, see? It's just super fun, it's super good for you. All right, and they just kind of grow where, you know, they grow wherever you want them to grow, pretty much. It's up to you. You plant them, you take care of them. You know what I mean? And I do want to put, I'm going to put a few little small ones here, maybe. You know, just a couple little things back into here, possibly. All right, these are a little bit lighter, I think. Something like that. You have a look at that. Yeah, they're just growing wherever. It's no big deal. And then I'm going to have maybe one just kind of going somewhere here or something. I don't know. I didn't plan. I don't, no, I'm not planning any of this stuff out. I don't, I don't care to plan it out, to be honest with you. And if you do, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, continue to, you know, to plan stuff out because that's great. You know, I just kind of live life a little bit more... I shouldn't call it unorganized or whatever, but it's just, it is what it is. I'm just, just kind of winging everything that I'm doing. So it's not a big deal. I'm going to take the, uh, this two inch brush from earlier today right here. It had the blue on it or whatever that we used for the sky. I just want to twirl this up a little bit and fill in some of these spots here, just like this. So I can have a nice little guide to what I'm doing. All right. I want to do that. I'm going to do some here like that, and I do want to drag, look, I'm going to drag some of this down right now so I don't have to worry about it after the fact. Little reflections or whatever the heck this is going to be. A little bit of water, okay? All right, drag it this way. And then what do we have here? 
drag some of this down too. Looks like there's water here as well, huh? Work that sideways. Okay. Back to the one inch brush. One inch brush, we're going to get some green and yellow. Okay, green and yellow, not straight yellow. Nice green color. A little bit of yellow. Not super bright though. Just a nice green color, and I want to do this. I want to tap some color in here. I want to have some nice little uh, bush things right here. See that? Of course you see that. You're watching the video. Look. All right. I'm making it a little bit brighter so you can see what I'm doing here. All right. I want to have nice little bushes here and there and wherever. Out here maybe. See I'm adding a little bit more of the a little bit more brighter yellow, maybe here and there on the top, just to show a little highlight or two, or three or four. And if we want, we could kind of seal the deal here on the bottom of this too. You know, put a little grass here or something, just to kind of, we're gonna put a water line in there too, but whatever. All right, nice little colors right there. I need a little bit more green though here. I'm thinking right in here, I want more green, I don't know why. I want to bring this out a little bit like this. See? Something like that. Right about there. And then yellow, a little bit more yellow. Now I want to put some, mm, I know that's bright, but whatever. <laughs> I want to put something in there like that. Mm. You could just have so much fun messing around with these. It's just crazy, the things that you can do. A little highlight here, see? But in this case, the light maybe is shining from this way, so you want to have super bright highlights. Let me show you. Coming this way. So watch, some one here maybe. Some there. And let's go up here and do this. This is a big old mountain up here, or a hill of some sort. Bring some stuff down here. All right, tap a few things like that. Okay, now I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna do, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna take some dark, that black, blue, green color. I just need to real quickly darken this just a little bit. See that? Darken it, darken it, darken it. No big deal. <laughs> Something like that right there. And then I'm actually going to take the knife and watch this. I'm going to take a little bit of white, a little bit of white. And I'm going to try something here real quickly. I'm going to go like this. See that? Of course you see it. Okay, I'm going to wipe that off. And let's see if it works. So I might have to use, what am I going to have to use for that? I'll try the one, no. I'm going to try, I'm going to try a fan. I'm going to grab another fan brush here real quick maybe. I wanted to try to twirl this here and see if I can create a little mist. See, I put that white color in there, the white paint. All right, just to create a little mist. Softly doing that. I'm going to grab a little bit more of the white here and get the white on the fan. I'm just going to put it on the fan brush and see what that does. So I want to go like this. Yeah, it looks look like it's uh it's going to work possibly. So I'm going to hold the brush like this and I'm going to sprinkle some of this down in it. Mm, see that? Nice. Wipe the fan brush off and then we can come back in here softly. If you have a blender brush, that's the way to go. Blender brush is the way to go for sure. I don't have any blender brushes right here, but um, if I did, I would use them for sure. All right, I am gonna take this two inch brush real quick and I'm just gonna try to softly, carefully, you know, go over top 
to get rid of the brush strokes out from the fan brush if I can. Trying not to kill the effect here. And I don't know if I should lift this or what. No, a little bit didn't hurt. As long as you can see some of the effect, it's whatever. All right, and then I'm going to take actually the one inch brush and I'm going to do this. I'm going to take some of our yellow color and I'm going to drop sort of into where we have this mist. So it looks like some of the stuff is showing through. You can do that after the fact, see? All right, just a little bit maybe. You know, it shows that maybe, yeah, maybe some of it's, you know, coming through. It's not all mist. You know what I mean? Yep. Something like that. Let me see what I got here. Just twirled that for no reason. <laughs> All right, so here we go. I'm going to take the fan brush here with our, you know, blue, was it blue, black, and uh, some green, right? Blue, black, and green, and I want to do something real quick. I just want to go make this hill a little bit more pronounced. See that? Right there. It comes down like this, and it goes like this. All right, something like that right there. I'm going to add real quickly, get some more green, some more blue few more trees in here okay I don't know I like these darn pine trees I don't I just like them so that's just how it is I'm gonna come right I'm gonna come right through there with this guy here get the corner in here and just go to town go to work put the work in see that going down getting some more paint no big deal and he just kind of grows, you know, into the mountain there, to the hill. All right. I'm going to load it up again. Blue, black, green. And I'm going to put one coming this way. Right through there. Put some limbs on him. See, skip some spots. It's important. If you come up to a cloud, skip it. Skip the spot and load up some more paint if you need it. You know, don't try to do it on, you know, the whole tree on, uh, you know, one brush worth of paint. Try to get your mind focused, you know, and reload. It's okay to reload. You know, sometimes we have to reload in life, you know. It's all right. Now, I know you can't see anything down here. I'm not worried about that, though. This guy here, wherever, I don't even know where he grows in, somewhere. He comes this way, I think, right? He's somewhere in there. Okay, we got basicness going on here. Basic paintings. I love basic paintings. It's just fun to do. This is just fun to do. That's all it is. Super fun. I'm going to have to evaluate these clouds when we're done here. If anybody watching this video sees anything in the clouds that they want to share with me, any of my clouds, please let me know. I'd love to hear from you. All right, we're going to go down here to this section. As a matter of fact, I'm going to hit this two inch brush here. I'm going to go into some yellow with the two inch brush, okay? Nice old yellow. I want to make this bright. There's a touch of green in here and that's okay. I'm not worried about that. Well, it's pretty much yellow. Pretty much all yellow. The two inch brush will give you fascinating results. So watch, I got some paint on here and I will be showing how to do the loading on the channel members, how I load the brush. So I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna start off thinking about right here maybe. So I'm gonna to touch right there. Now I'm gonna keep on reloading because it's important to reload. See that? Go down like this. We gotta leave a lot of dark in here. You see the texture that you get from that? It's amazing. It is absolutely amazing. Let's see here. Okay, some more on the brush, and I'm going to think about where this goes. This is a hill. It kind of goes like this. Comes down. See that? This grows backwards like this. And he drops. See that? He comes down like this. 
you know, I'm trying to envision that hill. How, how does it grow, you know? That's what I'm trying to see here. I'm trying to see how he grows. All right. Put the little things here and there. Subtle towards the front, maybe. See? And this is where you just kind of, you just wing it, make it work. All right, you don't want to put too, too much on because you could definitely put too much. I'm going to go over here to some green and a little bit of yellow, more of a greeny yellow for what do we got? Something looks like back here. See that? Put a little bit of that color in here, a little dark, something I don't know, a little change it up a little bit maybe. You know, maybe some green right there. It's a beautiful green. Don't be afraid to mess with colors, you know? I mean, for real, do not be afraid. Just get them colors in there, see that? All right. Let me try something. I'm gonna take just some of this nice green color we've had going here. I wanna see what it looks like, maybe, maybe a little bit of yellow, maybe a tiny bit, in some of these spots here. Yeah, see? Nice. There's another layer right there. That's cool. That works so far, maybe. All right, let's set this two inch buddy down and let's go one inch brush. Uh, let's hit that yellow real quick. Yellow, there was a little yellow ochres and stuff. I wanna go, wipe that off a little bit. Remember I said I was gonna straighten up back here. Let me do that real quick. All right, maybe a little bit more green back there or something. Yeah, there we go. Got a hill here. I just want to straighten up some of that water area back there. Just so the water doesn't look like it's, uh, you know, growing uphill, growing uphill, running uphill. All right. You'll get the idea that it's back there or whatever. All right, it's kind of running around the corner or whatever. It is there. All right, I'm going to take... Um, this fan brush that I already had some paint on. And I'm gonna take some white paint with a touch of blue in it. All right, white paint, touch of blue. And I wanted to do, right here, this water's gonna, you know, it's kinda like gonna come around, you know, here, through there, whatever. It's gonna go around the corner this way. Very subtle. And it's gonna do this. It's gonna come right here and it's gonna, wrap around it's going to go around like this and it's going to, all of a sudden it's going to go it's going to drop down right there see that she's going to drop down right there and then maybe a little coming this side there see a little bit there all right you know just a little indication is good enough see Some there, maybe. You know, you can hold the brush like this if you want. Just have it dropping down wherever. See? Coming around this corner here. All right. Just a little waterfall. That's all it is. Yeah, make the top nice and bright. Get a little... Something on there like this. See? Nice bright top. You know, just some kind of indication is good enough. You don't have to spend all day like I normally would. Just get the brush and go, get it on there. Come around and go, make it drop down. And people will understand, I think. You know, they'll understand what's going on here. I'm gonna take a little bit of this blue and white real quick. Make some little bit of a, you know, mist here. Tiny bit that goes up. Wipe that off. See, just a process. I'm gonna probably try to use the fan brush here to just blend this out real quick. Yeah. And it's okay that you're gonna see a little bit of the green and stuff 
in the mist because if there was mist, you're going to see what's behind it. You know what I mean? And that's just my opinion. I think I'm right. I could be, I could be wrong. I don't know. You can also take a filbert brush if you want to, you know, and you could definitely shape your uh, waterfall. You know, if you wanted, you could change the direction of it to come like this, that, whatever, which I shouldn't be doing because I'm over here telling you guys how to do this the right way. And here I am telling you, here I am doing what I'm telling you not to do. So let me get my fan brush back and just come around the corner and just go drop that back down like this. Get some real nice light and then here we go. See that? Here we go. There he is. Okay, emergency rescue situation. Hang on a minute. This is what happens when you mess around. This is why I'm actually glad that I'm showing you this because this is what you don't want to do. You don't want to mess around like this. You want to have fun. So I'm going to take some of that dark color real quick. Watch. Put it in here. See that? Just get it in there like this. Doesn't have to be crazy, super dark. Back to the white here. Come around the bend like this, and then just real quickly just go. See, drop it in there. Get some white paint and then around. Get them on there, see? And there he goes. Something like this here. All right. And if you sit there and you mess with it, it's going to just, you're going to end up just doing all kinds of crazy things, just like I just showed you. I'm going to soften this a little bit. I want to keep some of the splashies in there. Nice. Looks good. It's just kind of running down the stream. No problemo. All right, let's get this uh, one inch brush and let's get some of our yellows and our greens and yellow ochres and all that real quick. I gotta I just want to go right up to the waterfall. See that? Go right up to this buddy right there. See that? Nice. Right there. All kinds of layers in here. All kinds of things happening here. Grass growing down that way. Amazing things. All right, I'm gonna grab, what am I gonna grab? Uh, it looks like I got a two inch brush right here. Two inch brush, I am gonna do this, look. Let's pull some of this down, just a little bit, see? All right, see that? Nice. Pull it down, pull it down. For reflective purposes. Reflective purposes. Let's see here. Grab a knife. Um, down. All right, yeah, knife. Here we go. Here's the fun in my life. We're going to take the knife in some blue. We're going to take some white, just a nice bluey white color, maybe. Uh, a little bit more white, maybe. A little bit more white. We're going to make, we're going to bring this together. We're going to bring it together. My favorite part right now. All right, here we go. <clears throat> I'm going to take this knife here and make a little water line. So it crashes down like this, right? This kind of runs back there. We can make a double. All right, there's our first little line. All right. Wipe that off. I even want it to be more bright white. So let's go here. Got me some nice, some nice white paint here. Nice. This way y'all can see it, see what's going on here. All right, here we go. So that wrapped around. Now watch this. I'm going to start here. And I'm going to bring it like this. See, another little line right there. 
and then it's going to come out like this and it's going to wrap right around the second one just like that all right now is when you can kind of like make your adjustments if you want to refine it a little bit you can do this you know add more lines and all kinds of things all right you can do whatever you want really you could do that there let me just have a quick look here and see see if i need to offset anything now it looks like you know i i just think there should be something out here as well it goes right back into the distance back there you know behind that little thingy right there all right and then i think i want to change the angle just a little bit here add a double line right there and then maybe this one goes like this there's a little ripple there a little blue in there maybe watch this i mean this is just so this is so fun to do this because this really kind of brings it the water together at least you know it kind of I don't know, it really, it just does something. You know what I'm saying? If you're watching this, you gotta know what I'm saying. All right, now I got this, some white here. It's just like a lighter color. I am gonna take a little bit of brown in there. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm doing it. I just feel like, you know, this guy needs a little, you know, they need something here, you know what I mean? Something there and there, maybe there. He's crooked there, you know, yeah. Something like that. We got to put some up there too. There you go. Sorry, I forgot you there, fella. On there, right to there, there, and there, there, and there. You know, they have some kind of like, you know, branches and structure or something. Even though I don't really want to put any highlights on here, I'm going to put a couple, maybe some very dim ones because I believe that the dark color really helps with contrast and the painting and all that. But look, we can straighten the tops of the trees up. Watch this. This is the best thing. For these trees straighten them right up and you could draw little lines and make little babies all right put them wherever go over here let's straighten this life up here and there and there and do the same thing you know if you want to you don't have to do this but it'll i don't know it does something it helps for just makes it look like another stick or tree or twig or it looks like something. All right, so I'm going to take a fan brush here. I'm going to take the fan brush that we already have dark color on. I'm going to wipe it off real quickly. I'm going to wipe it off and then I'm going to go into some green. It's a very dark green, a little bit of yellow. Very dark because I don't want it to be bright. I want you to barely be able to see a highlight on here, okay? So let's see how this looks. Maybe some here. Barely any highlights. You're barely going to see this. Because I just don't want, don't want to ruin it, you know? I want that dark in there. It's so important. To me it is. You might want bright trees, you know, and that's... That's cool. I want dark. I still want to retain that dark. You know? And that's just like what I want to do with my life. It's just the bottom line here. I want to retain the dark in my life. Now, let's see here. I'm going to grab this brush. What do I want to make here? Okay, I know what I'm going to do. I got this little filbert brush here. And I'm going to go, yeah, I'm going crazy with my time. As always, let's take some brown and some black on this filbert here and see what we got. Brown and black. And I just feel, for some reason, what am I feeling? Should there be? Yeah, there should be something right here. Brown and black. All 
All right, a little tree here maybe, right? Now there's a lot of paint on here, so you gotta be careful. So I'm kind of dragging it on, see? I'm dragging it on like this. Drag it on, bring some roots right down into the grass, because that's how it would grow. If it was my tree, that is how it would grow. All right, get some more color here on the filbert. Something like this. And now let's make a nice easy little branch like this. Let's you know, something so it aesthetically looks okay, hopefully. Some dark. Like this. Yeah, there we go. Step back and look at your, you know, look at your picture all the time. Always. I want a branch right here. And I'm making this with the filbert. With the filbert, he grows right out like this. See, yeah, you know, something like that. It don't have to be perfect. These trees, just get them in there. You know, just get these trees in there. Put a branch up here as well. You know, something like that. And then to make this super easy for you, here's what I'm going to do. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take straight black paint. Straight black paint. And I'm going to go here, I'm going to put some dark, even though it's hard to tell because it's pretty dark to you probably right now on the camera. Dark there, dark here, it's there. Okay, I'm going to wipe that off. And then I'm going to go, I'm going to take, I don't have much white left, but I'm going to take the white that I have here and some yellow ochre. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to pop some yellow ochre right in the edge of this tree. Oh, there's a little blue in there, and that's okay. No problem, right? No problemo. Pop some color here, right down there, like this, and just have fun with this stuff. And I'm just using the filbert brush, and I'm just kind of, look, I'm just dragging. I'm dragging the color, see? Dragging it wherever. Just like this. Super easy stuff, guys. Anybody can do this. And not only that, but it'll help you. It'll help you as a human. It'll help you in your life. All right, you can wipe the filbert brush off just like this. Super easy, and you could just kind of soften some of these areas, see? Drag them around a little bit, make some more textures and such. All right. You know, grab some more paint if you want, add another little highlight in here, whatever, you know. So many things to do in life. So many things. Uh, quickly, 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 because we're, I'm out of time, out of time. I'm going to take some green, black, and blue on the, uh, what the hell is this, the fan brush? Yeah, on the fan brush. And just real quickly, I just want to knock in some little, you know, some leaves or something real quick. Doesn't matter how you put these in, watch. Just put the clumps here and there, watch this. See that? Clump. Clump it away. Some blue in there. Just wherever. I don't want to kill that cloud back there. I'm going to show you. Get the clumps in like this. Maybe there's a, the hell, there's a clump here too, right? So he goes out this way. All right, so now we got our clumps in, right? So now we could take our brush and then we could use the corner and just kind of tap, you know, tap around like this and just kind of think about little leaves and, you know, such like that. See, he kind of hangs this way, goes this way. This guy, remember I said he comes out here, this way and that way. And we're just tapping dark color around is all we're doing. Making it look like a little, you know, clump of a something. You know, I don't even know what I'm talking about right now. Do I? Not even sure what I'm talking about. <laughs> Put some more clumps in here and there. Got to have some stuff hanging down here. It just looks appropriate. You know, a little twirl. You could swirl them in if you want. It doesn't matter how we see. Look, twirl them. The twirly trees. Now, one inch brush. One inch brush. I'm going to go right into some yellow and green. Yellow and green. Here I come. Maybe a little ochre. I don't know. See, 
yellow and green on the one inch brush and I just want to try to just you know give you the idea more yellow basic trees basic little clumps see basic clumps all right I'm just loading this brush here basic clumps here and there see they come down like this and then they're wherever they're up here, they're there, and there, and they're everywhere, these things. <laughs> See these little clumpies. Just popping them in. Subtle, subtle. Subtle. One on the end here, maybe. And then, what the hell, we can use some yellow ochre too, you know, if you want to. You could change the colors up, see? You, could, you don't have to just have yellow leaves, you can have whatever you want. See that? Put some there. Have a little hangy down leaves here. Leaves. <laughs> All right, Lord help me. Lord help me. Um, real quickly, real quickly. Some whites, whatever colors, greens, I don't know. Just like a peach color. Uh, just plant the the roots into the ground real quick nice and easy no big deal right no big deal all right all right all right well hey I think that's a wrap I had a lot of fun making this painting today it did exactly what I came here hoping that it would do it made me feel human again. It made me feel like I can smile again. It made me just feel like everything was okay again. This is why I'm pushing it, guys. This is, it's, it's, a, it's not even a joking matter. It's a very serious thing. I'm doing this because it's a real thing. And uh, personally, I don't care about the teaching aspect. I'm not a teacher. I'm just relaying thoughts that come into my mind daily. And I'm doing it because I have a good, pure heart. And I believe that some of the things that I'm relaying may really help. It's going to really help you or somebody in your family or anybody who watches the videos. And that's why I ask you to please share the videos and please like them. I feel really good right now. I feel happy. I feel content. And I have to ask myself, why do I go sometimes so long without doing this? It makes no sense. The answer is right in front of us. We just have to take the initiative to dive into it. And I'm gonna to try to be a better, I'm not gonna say leader, but I'm gonna to try to be a better person to set those examples for you. I just wanna thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, head over to channel members, and I will see you in the very next video. Take care.